Uh, so my my question was, uh, talk, speaking of racist suspects, uh, what what is the codified response for racist suspects who have expressed that their goal is not to produce justice or eliminate the system of white supremacy? And your question is, how do you react to it or what? Yes, how, how do you respond to racist suspects who have expressed that their goal is not to produce justice or eliminate the system of white supremacy? Then you tell them what what is there, you know, what what, what is it, if they're telling you this, what do they want you to do if it's something you want, they want you to do? Or you can ask them, well, what do you want to do then? I mean, why you're here, you know? And just go right through those questions and answers. It always applies. Questions and answers apply to everybody. You know, what do you want to do? Now, he's telling you what he's not going to do. So what is he going to do? And he might wind up, most likely, if he says he's not trying to eliminate racism, then you can ask him or her, what do you want to do? And let them tell you. And don't lead, don't lead into the question. Don't say, do you want to be a racist? That's not, that's not the best question. That is a question. You can't ask that. But it's best to ask them, what do you want to do? You just told me what you didn't want to do. You didn't want to eliminate racism. Yeah, that's not your goal. So what do you want to do? And whatever the answer is, you got your answer. Mm-hmm. And if you're not satisfied with that answer, ask another question. That's another the codified question. procedure. Okay. And then oh. ask another question and another question until you get to the final question. And okay. how do you know you're at the final question? Because you've got all the answers that you wanted to get. 